Now, South Korea has been developing an advanced radar system that will eventually be mounted on new locally, locally developed fighter jets by 2026. That it also developed a radar for its service to air its missile, for which a recent deal was secured worth more than a billion dollars. Now, Peonji visited the site where these state of the art systems are being developed. An active electronically scanned array radar, or ASA, is a system that can send radio waves to point in different directions all at the same time, without the antenna needing to move. Useful for the military because this allows the radar to precisely scan large areas and track multiple targets simultaneously. Only a few countries in the world, including the U.S., China, Israel and Japan, have this technology. South Korea started developing this technology after the U.S. refused to approve the transfer of some of its key technologies for fighter jets in 2015. At this research center in Yongin City, some 60 kilometers southeast of Seoul, South Korea's defense contractor Hana Systems aims to develop the radar by 2026, to be used in the country's locally developed fighter jet, the KF-21. This research lab is where the ASA radar system for fighter jets is being developed. The advanced radar's capability to track and detect targets in the air and on the ground is developed here, before it is actually tested on an actual aircraft. The radar system is not visible from the outside because it's covered with what's called a ray dome, a waterproof protective enclosure. Because an actual fighter jet flies at supersonic speeds, it needs to withstand air pressure and heat. So this ray dome protects the antenna, and it has a streamlined design to let the aircraft fly more efficiently. Also at the research center, a multifunction radar, key technology used in South Korea's medium-range surface-to-air missile Cheonggum, was developed. The antenna spins 360 degrees to detect and track mid-range aircraft targets. This radar became ready for combat in 2020, and Hana Systems plans to manufacture the multifunction radar for Cheonggung 2, an advanced version of Cheonggung by 2023. In January, the company has signed a deal worth $1.1 billion with the United Arab Emirates to export the system. Peunji, Arirang News.